Hello Scorpio, this is Gypsy Spirit here with you, ready to give you your weekly reading. And thank you so much for um, being a subscriber to my Patreon page. It really does mean a lot to me, Scorpio. So thank you and let's get started. Um, we first have the Ten of Pentacles. And it looks like Scorpio this week is going to be good for you. It starts out good. And by the way, I meant to tell you, this is for September 5th through September 11th. So, but yeah, it looks like things, things in the home and financially at all, it's all working out. See, I mean, the couple, they have something to celebrate, but you, check out this lady that's on the side that's, um, holding the staff with a crystal ball on the top that, uh, pay attention to her because, you know, sometimes things may look really good on the surface, but behind underneath they're not so good so this woman is warning that yes things seem to be really good right now uh, Scorpio you got money there's you know seems to be happiness and good energy in the home and everything but there's still something that's not quite right and you can't seem to figure it out you don't know what it is maybe or maybe you do and you just swept it under the carpet and you've chosen to just be happy and let things go and eventually it will work itself out but this is telling me um oh, okay thank you i just got a message um so what this is telling me is that for some of you now this is a general reading for some of you it may have something to do with work yes everything seems to be good with work you're making money your bills are getting paid things are getting done but yet are you really happy with where you're at with your work and it could also be a relationship you know I mean this is a general reading so you have to pick your story if it's a relationship even though it looks like everything's going good you've got money bills are being paid so forth but mm, there's something else underneath it's not looking so pretty so but in, in this case I, you know I, I just want to say that for some of you I just really feel like there's something else in your world that you want to do. Uh, you know, maybe you're a nurse and, you know, you want to go into a special field or, or, you know, who knows. Well, you pick your story, like I said. So I feel like, you know, with the Eight of Pentacles that's in reverse, you know, Pentacles is about money. So we've got uh, two, two Pentacle cards. So Eight of Pentacles, it's like... Yeah, you're, you're glad that your bills are being paid and everything and, and that things are good on the home front. But in the, in the job, maybe things, maybe you're not happy or maybe you feel like you could do better, you know? I mean, you're doing good where you're at, but maybe you could do just a little bit better. Or there's something else that you want to do that you feel like you could be better at or, or do better. Um, and so, um, but because you've been so tied up with everything, with all this other stuff and doing the job that you're doing and making the money, um, you haven't really given yourself time to do any research or do any studying about what it is that you want to do. And that's why we have the eight of pentacles in reverse. So, you know, even though things are good, it all looks good for you right now at the moment, there's that underlying uh, thing that is like kind of gnawing at you saying, you know, there's something else for you. I'll tell you a story. When I was married, I was married, um, well, I got, the, I, I left my husband in 2010, I guess, or 2011, I don't remember. But there was a time when I used to uh, sit on the couch. We had these couches and one, they were across from one another. And I'd be sitting on one couch, and he'd be sitting on another. And I already knew that my marriage was about over. But I used to get the, I used to just be sitting there. And this is way, we were tied up in Christianity. I, I would have never thought I'd be doing tarot cards. Never. And and so when, many, many times, just before we ended up splitting up, I used to sit on the couch, and I'd be looking across over at him. And I'd be thinking, there's something I'm supposed to be doing in my life. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, it does not include that man. And a year, a year later, or a little while later, I ended up leaving. We got divorced. 
but um and I feel like for some of you, I tell you the story, Scorpio, because I feel like for many of you that that kind of feeling is going on. It's like, you know, you're supposed to be doing something. You're not quite sure what it is, but it, it, even though everything looks good on the outside, that it's not so wonderful on the inside. And so we have the queen of swords, swords is about conflict. So this has got you very conflicted. Like, how do you handle this? What do you do? If it's a relationship, like, you know, in my situation, you know, I had to wait my time, you know, wait for perfect timing to be able to, to move. And then when I did uh, leave, doors opened wide open, like within months and less than a year, I was reading tarot cards. And if you would have told me that I was reading tarot cards at the time that I had been thinking those thoughts, I would have thought you were nuts. Yeah, me, tarot cards, no way. So, who knew? So, so I just kind of feel like that's where you're at, Scorpio, for a lot of you. It's like there's something else that you're supposed to be doing, something else going on in your life that, that you know, is kind of blocking you from thinking or knowing what exactly it is that you have to do. It's like, you know, when... When that thought, thought came to me that there was something I was supposed to be doing, I didn't know what it was, but it didn't include my husband. I mean, the universe gives us things like in little, little pieces, okay? So I, I was getting that one. But now if universe would have come to me or, or given me this thought that, okay, I'm, not supposed to be, I'm supposed to be doing something, don't, you know, is, does not include this man. Oh, I'm going to be reading tarot cards and helping all kinds of people. Uh, especially women, you know, their life struggles and things like that. I would have thought, uh, no, 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 <laughs> that's not going to happen. I probably would have stayed married. Um, but so, you know, you got to get little bits and pieces at a time. And so I feel like that's what's happening here. That's why you see the queen of swords. It's like you're in charge. I mean, you're getting it. You're understanding that, yeah, there's something else. Not quite sure what it is. But you're staying, you're aware, you are aware, and you just have to trust yourself and trust the universe that you're going to be led into the direction because now you're starting to get those seeds planted in you. See, when I was sitting on the couch with my, you know, looking at my ex-husband, that seed was planted in me that there was something else I was supposed to be doing, but it took me, you know, I had to, you know, it's almost like eating a baby, an elephant. You have to take, you know, one bite at a time. So little, you know, that seed had to be planted, that there was something else, and he was not included. So if I would have tried to do all of it all at once, like leaving and doing tarot and all that stuff all at one time, then I would have been so overwhelmed. I mean, we, we have to take things in steps. So whatever the seed is being planted in you, that's like the first step. And so then there's going to be another step. I think my next step, uh, when all that happened was, um, I went to Asheville and I met a woman who wanted to do a crystal reading on me. I didn't know what the hell she was talking about. What the fuck is a crystal reading? I didn't know anything about metaphysics or any, any of the spiritual stuff. I mean, I was very tied into the Christian church and didn't, you know, didn't believe in any of this stuff. This is devil worship. Um, so <laughs> I have come a long way, baby, <laughs> but anyway, you see what I'm saying? I mean, it's like little baby steps and, and, um, you know, it, it will all start to come together when you have faith and trust in yourself and you listen to your intuition. And sometimes you just have to just throw your hands up in the air and say, I surrender. I don't know what it is, but I'm open to whatever it is, you know, and go with it. Pretty much is what I had to do. We have the Queen of Swords is showing you that, yeah, you have a lot of strength. And you're, um, you, you've got control over the situation. And you're not going crazy or losing your mind or, you know, cussing everybody out or, you know, like throwing things. You're taking it all in stride and you're, you're, you're moving forward in the way that you need to. So just, you know, like know that these little seeds are being planted in you. 
So thank you so much, Scorpio, for tuning in. And I can't wait to talk to you next week about what next week brings you. So thank you for tuning in, and I will see you soon.